Hi, I'm Calvin Kim from Porsche Cars North America, and this is the Porsche Panamera SE Hybrid. While subtle, there are differences in the exterior between a Panamera SE Hybrid and a regular Panamera. Take the logo at the back of the hatch, for example. You'll notice the acid green highlights that surround the Panamera S logo. Likewise, for the e-hybrid logo on the sides of the car and the brake calipers, which are painted to match. With a 3-liter supercharged V6 engine producing 333 horsepower mated to a 95 horsepower electric motor, the Panamera SE Hybrid is anything but your typical hybrid. As is typical for sports cars, power is sent to the rear wheels through an 8-speed Tiptronic transmission. Powering the electric motor is a 9.4 kilowatt lithium-ion battery. The end result is a 14-mile all-electric range and a 50-mile-per-gallon equivalent EPA drive cycle. Even with this efficiency, the Panamera SE Hybrid does not sacrifice a bit on performance. 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds and a top track speed of 167 miles per hour ensures that this is still a true Porsche. Now on the interior of the car, the acid green motif remains. You'll notice on the dash, acid green color being used on the pointers. Interestingly, on the SE Hybrid variant, the biggest difference is that there is no analog speedometer in the SE Hybrid. Instead, we have a power meter that lets you know how much power is being generated or being recuperated by the powertrain of the car. To the left of the tachometer is the power meter, which is the place to see how much power is being generated or being recuperated. On the right side of the console, you'll see the e-power button. What this button does is it prioritizes the battery power over the combustion engine. Right underneath that is the e-charge button. This mode diverts some of the power from the internal combustion engine and uses that to charge the battery. When neither mode is selected, you're in hybrid mode. That's when the computer gets to select which powertrain to use for the most efficiency. A unique feature of the Panamera SE Hybrid is its haptic feedback in the accelerator pedal. What this pedal allows you to do is keep the car in e-power mode for extended periods of time. A small motor in the accelerator pedal comes out to let you know when you're at the limit of e-power mode. Push beyond that point and the internal combustion engine turns on. By heating the warning from the pedal, you can keep the car in e-power mode longer, thus increasing efficiency. On the left side of the center console, you'll see more buttons. On the top, Sport. Below that, Sport Plus. Below that is the suspension icon. Underneath that is the ride height. What these buttons allow you to do is tailor the characteristics of the vehicle for the situation that you're in. With all the buttons turned off, you're in regular driving mode, in comfort mode, if you will. It will ensure a comfortable ride down the road. Perfect. On the other hand of the equation is Sport Plus mode. Sport Plus quickens the shifting of the transmission, lowers the car, stiffens the suspension, and makes the throttle pedal more sensitive to input. If you're not looking for as harsh of a ride, pick Sport Mode. It softens the suspension ever so slightly, but more importantly, it keeps the shifts a little bit more comfortable for use on the highway. This is the 2014 Porsche Panamera SE Hybrid.